Welcome to Social Studies Samurai. In this video, we're gonna show you how to tell your awesome story using Google Earth Projects. So I've been shared a link to a finished uh, Google Earth project. I'm just gonna click on present, and here's what it looks like. The first slide is a, a full screen slide kind of tells you what it's about. It's got some of the work cited in there and the image source. I can view it through the table of contents, which is good for dividing up the work in a class project or group activity. And I can also view by clicking on the little arrows going from one place to the other. And we get that really cool zoom in, bird's eye view, and an idea of where it is on the planet. You can always go back or you can use your fingers to kind of scroll out to get an idea of where it is. And I've got my image here, I've got my text, and the name of the image and the source of it. And I can just kind of click through and look at the different, uh, you know, places in the tour. In this case, it's ancient technology. Notice here that I've got the image, and yes, people did practice trepanation 10,000 years ago, cut a hole in your skull. And I can skip to more pictures and more videos. All you have to do is tap on the video and then you click play and then you can watch it. Or I can skip through and get a bigger view of the picture that I put in, which is why you want high resolution images. Okay, so you've got your assignment topic, you're ready to go. Here's some things you want to think about before you begin. The first is fairness and equity. Uh, let's avoid negative stereotypes about people and places in the world because it's just not nice and it doesn't represent the world as it is. Think about your audience and your purpose. If it's a younger audience, use less advanced text perhaps. And if it's an older audience, probably more advanced text and vocabulary. Think about your images and things like that. And your purpose. Are you to uh, entertain people? Are you to teach people and inform people? Pretty important to keep in mind. Uh, do your research first. If you do your research first, then it's going to be a lot easier to create your project and you'll have a vision of you know, how you want it to look. Another is include your citations in all of your slides or whatever it is you're creating. Uh, keep in mind that as you do your research, you record these, it's a lot easier to put it all together. Um, and you also should have your text and your images and any video you want to embed. Have that ready so it's much faster to put together your project. And be consistent. If you look consistent, then your project looks really good and not just good enough. So let's get started and tell a really awesome story. Just another reminder, have all your research done, your links, your images. If you've got this done, making your project will be a lot easier for you. So your first way to get to Google Earth is to click on your apps launcher, scroll down, click on the Earth icon, and wait for it to load. Other ways to get to Google Earth would be Google Google Earth and then tap the link or go to your Omnibox and type earth.google.com. Wait for it to load. You'll get the landing page with other resources, but you want to click on Launch Earth, that blue button there, and wait for it to load. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is create a new project and click this button and I can create a project in Drive or open a project I've already been working on. Let's create. And the nice thing is this creates an automatic Google Drive folder for you called Google Earth. I go back to my research that I've already done. Now this first slide, it's actually just for you so you can remember exactly what it is. So you just have to put your details in there. That's all you need. Now I'm ready to add my very first feature. I want to add a title slide. So not a place right now. Click full screen slide. Go back to your research that you've done. Give it a title. Because this is your title slide. I'm just going to choose the text that I need. I'm going to paste it in my text box here. Okay, there's a bit of a space, so I'm going to backspace it there just so my text looks a little nicer. And now I want to link the image that I'm going to use for my background, but I'm also going to link it to 
the source where I got it from. In this case, National Geographic. I also want to put the image right here. So I click my camera icon. I could upload an image, do a search, find one in Drive or Photos, but I'm going with the URL. So I click Select, and once this loads, I'm going to go up to View Presentation and see how it looks. So I see that I have a nice darkish background with white text, and my link to National Geographic, that picture, is active, and it's academically honest. You only get white text, so think about your backgrounds. Then I'm going to click up here to my arrow and go back, and I'm going to do the same thing up here because I'm ready to add my first place. So now I go back to new feature, and in this case, I'm going to search for a place. If I want, I could click add place mark, and I see my little uh, plus sign. If I know exactly where I want to go, or if a place on the map is not actually registered, I can do that. We're not going to do that for this one. We're going to choose search to add place. So now I can have a look for where I want to go. So I go back and I scroll down to my first place and it happens to be in Luxor, Egypt. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it in. And so now I get all these things. Not quite exactly where I want to go. I want to go to the Valley of the Kings. And hey, look, it pops up. I don't want the Arabic, I want the English. So now I get what's called a knowledge card pop up and I'm going to click Add to Project. See how that takes me exactly where I want to go? Now here, I want to go back and change that actually. I want to click Tomb of Tutankhamun and I'm going to copy that. So that and the date is the first place I go. Now I want to edit the place because I don't want this text right here. One more step, click Replace. That'll let me replace the text. I want on my right side an information box or a knowledge card and I'm going to tap large info box. That'll give me a nice big dark background. I like that look myself. I'm going to go back and because I've got all this information I want to share and my work cited for this one particular place and my images, I'm going to copy all that stuff. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to paste it right here. Now I want to go back in and fix all the editing and all the spacing. So I've fixed all my spacing, made it look pretty. I've linked my images to the title of the images. I go on up. I've only put in one image, so I think I got to put another one in. So I click my camera. I go to URL, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to copy that second image that I want to put in. And I just tap it in there. Yep, that's the one. I click, we're good to go. But I want a video in there too. So I'm going to go down, going to find my videos. I'm going to copy that video. Another one from National Geographic. But because it's on YouTube, I don't have to worry about copyright. It's assumed. I tap on my camera icon, I go to YouTube, and I can either search in there or I can just paste the URL, choose it, select, and there it is. Now I think I'm ready to view this to see how it looks. Click View Presentation and notice that I get that nice blur in the background. I can scroll to my images and there's the video. And I scroll here and the text looks good and my image sourcing and works cited look good. I might want to bold this and space it a bit. That's up to you. Now one other cool feature is looking at the street view. This isn't very pretty to look at, but if I grab Peg Man here, and yes it's Peg Man, not Peg Woman, or maybe woman, a person of Peg would be better, but you see these blue dots. I can choose one of those blue dots and drop Peg Man in there and it's gonna go way down and show me the street view and then I can drag it around and decide which view I like I think that one's kinda cool and all I have to do is click capture this view you might see that as a blue bar as well so I tap that and then I'm gonna type 
um, Dead Sea Scroll Caves. And then I can click Edit Place. And then I would do all this other editing. And then I just go back. And what that does is when I move from one place, as I want to view it, and then move to the next place, it's going to take me down into that view that I chose. Pretty cool. I want to go back maybe and edit my knowledge card and that kind of thing. One last really cool thing you can do is to add interactivity, like a quiz from Google Forms. So you would also, you know, add a new feature and I would choose a full screen slide for this. So you tap that and then when you get your box in here, well, first let's give it a title, quiz. And in your box, you see these three little dots, right? Tap on that and choose switch to HTML. And then you want to go and put your cursor in this area that says body. If you've made a Google form, all you have to do is go up to where it says send and then use the universal icon for embedding and tap that. You can change how big it looks and that kind of thing. We're just going to copy it for now. We're going to go back. So you just paste it where your body is. Maybe you want to make it a little bit wider, little bit longer, and then click view presentation. And there is your quiz for people to fill out. Pretty cool, eh? Thanks for watching the video. If you're a student or a teacher in subjects like history, geography, government, economics, check out some of the other videos. The mission of this channel is to help students build skills and teachers build their toolkit. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on the web at socialstudiesamurai.com. Hope to see you again.